Glenny is performing in front of an audience of 1,200 fans at a sold-out concert in Heidelberg. She usually appears on stage barefoot or in her stocking feet. It helps her feel the music. The audience is very much part of that performance, and they sort of put the switch on, as it were, you know, that light switch on, and they create an atmosphere that, no matter how hard you try to imagine this in your head, you know, when it's happening, it, it is a very amazing feeling. Evelyn has more than 100 concert dates a year. When she's not touring, she's most often at her home near Cambridge in England. I think my heart really is in the countryside and I very much enjoy being out in the open um, and having that balance between city life, which is often where my, my work takes me, um, but also then returning to a fairly peaceful place. In her studio at home, she rehearses and experiments with new sounds. She has a collection of over 1,800 instruments from all over the world. Each instrument speaks differently. Um, so you line up 10 marimbas and they will all speak differently. Um, and it's really important for me just to clear my head completely of everything that has gone on in the past and treat this as a new experience. Evelyn Glennie was born near Aberdeen, Scotland in 1965. She began playing piano at age eight before turning to drums. Four years later, she lost most of her hearing due to a neurological disorder. I was frustrated with music until suddenly my percussion teacher, from about the age of 12 when I started percussion, he said, Evelyn, these drums are extremely resonant. I can actually feel them in different parts of my body. Can you? And he asked this question to me. And I struck a drum and I really started to pay attention. I thought, actually, I, I can, I can actually feel this, but it's making no sense at this point. So anyway, this was something that we developed. And I then discovered by taking the hearing aids off, I actually heard less through the ear, but more through the body. At 16, Evelyn moved to London to study at the prestigious Royal Academy of Music. After graduation, she began recording her first CDs and performing with major orchestras. She's constantly extending her repertoire and enjoys working with different musicians, including Sting and Bjork. It's so important to keep your identity. Um, so important when you're collaborating with anybody, no matter what the situation is, you have to be true to yourself as well. Mm -hmm. 